Last month, I was able to visit to Disney's Hollywood Studios here for one of the amazing parts of the theme park attraction of Walt Disney World. These part of the rides and simulators are definitely the same, but the shows are definitely the different thing. Where we always come from here, whatever it's the land on the entire world, or even of course the rise of bringing the parts to bring the force be with you, in between from each coasters or ride attractions, or definitely in between from each coasters or the rides. There are so many other ones that are definitely right behind it, wherever they can be. So here are my rankings for the top five rides at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Now, before we get into the top five, here are the lists that didn't make the cut. Number nine was the Alien Sorcerer's Spin. I definitely heard about this one here before, after they built one here、um, to Toy Story Land. It was even a, just a spin ride, just like a Mad Cup T ride, and I just really didn't figure this thing out. I know it used to be great for the kids, but I was thinking of this ride of how does it fast go. Well, I don't even have to believe it anyway, because of all that improving me, how well it goes. Well, it's not very a great spinny ride. It was just a little sway in between from the、uh, from spinning and also a very tough ride to go for it. My head was shaking a bit here once I feel the vibrating here from the seat, and I could feel it once I started rumbling it. I could definitely feel my head a little shaking up here from this ride. If your kids are concerning that they are definitely putting it at risk, well, don't try to like behave it at that point because all of a sudden they might be feeling that they're gonna get all a lot of vibration going on with their heads. And definitely just try to keep it tight. And I know it's a little very hard to try to stay and put, but don't be honest with you. It's definitely the only thing I really wanted to go for. But don't be a wise fool. I'm not the only person who wants to get over this one, but it was a good ride, just a good ride. Number eight is the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. This is the only simulator ride here that was proved to be one of the only rides that was happened here before. But however, this one's the only different range at this point, not to compare with Star Tours here from this ride. But we will get to that ride a little later. As you could tell, that the Smuggler's Run was. Just right, but since it was my first time using the pilot, I used everything to control from the ship left to right, and the ever pilot going up and down. I mean, this is definitely the world's best to give this one a try. This is like a shooting, like a video game that you can definitely control the ship, just like a Magnum XL here on a video game from Atari. I mean, I'm not really jealous to be honest with those opinions here. But just to configure things out, we definitely like to、uh, take them down and show them what we got. I mean, you're definitely like the only person who likes to be in the video game for sure. But however, this is not the only attraction I was looking for. But oh well, I could definitely just try to ride this one any time. I can try to give it up and just、uh, move on to the next level. I'll try round two this time. That will be a great start here. To give it off the world, round one. Well, I mean, what a great choice! But I think we're gonna level it up even more. So we'll see how this one goes when it pops by. Number seven is the Star Tours. The adventures continue. I just don't believe how the Star Tours has been proving things on here ever since I just rode it here back from ten to twelve years ago. I mean, this was the only ride that was ever footage out. First, it was usually old, and then after that, from decades, it was now new. Here, since they re-updated each theme, I never seen something quite so obvious before how this turned out. While Star Tours is very a great、uh, ride for everybody who's liking it so far, and definitely 3D glasses for sure on this attraction, but everything turns out to be a little too off the angle. First off, the seat belts and the restraints are definitely off the handling, like widespread. Even if it's not really a tight, you have to just lurch it up and then make sure that the seat belt is locked in place. And then the second thing is, you just have just pulled up and then you boom, you're off to the race instead. You're just taking the boost right into it, into another space of the planet. I just really don't believe how this all turned out. I mean, very good ride, but they could have done it a little bit more better, because 
With that point, Star Tours turned to be a little uh, fading out in between from each rides. I mean, not really a lot of people who really wanted to enjoy it because they love the Galaxy's Edge 2. I wonder if the replacement could definitely feel like that this should be another one to relocate possible here in the Galaxy's Edge. Well, I just saw it's only the Smuggler's Run that was usually here, so perhaps I don't think that Star Tours won't return anytime soon in the next future of the years, or it might be just staying here for a long impossible out there. It's very hard to deny, but the story can definitely be, be honest with you. I might just say they might give it a little uh, special effects from this ride of attraction. Hopefully they could do better this one then too. Number 6 is Toy Story Mania. After relocation here for the Pixar Studio films to this Toy Story Land, this is the only next attraction it is for the whole entire family to enjoy. I really loved this one when I was just a little boy playing Toy Story Mania on a Wii system. It was fun for me, I could definitely really enjoy it for so long. And now, since I am back to play it again, I mean, I was definitely a great player who definitely really likes to press and then aim at the targets at that point. Keeping up high scores is definitely a great thing. But once I just come off here for this ride, I mean my arms were in strength. I was pulling so fast. No, I'm not kidding because I was pulling it so fast, how hard have I latched it up and I, of course, I was in strong muscles. I mean, look at me. I'm definitely like in the biceps who definitely knows I could work out in the gym to go with lift some weights. I mean, who would have liked to figure it out just like me? I mean, I'm just only like a bigger man who really wants to get in good shape. Well, Toy Story Mania was definitely a great ride, great family attraction games. I mean, it's fun for the whole family and friends. You can definitely go wrong, can't go wrong with that. Well, it may be the tough one to get right into it existent. Well, if I really like to say that this game should be uh, more competitive than competing, but it's fun for the whole family than competing in tournaments. Yeah, it's not really a tournament of this game, so you could definitely do this one for your fun. If you still have your Wii here on a Toy Story Mania, then it's free for you, for you, your whole family, or your friends or even sometimes your family company. That might be a great thing that you could play for Toy Story Media. But I say for this attraction, this one is very good. Well, not quite in the top five, but hopefully this will turn out to be a little bit more better than usual. And now on to the top five. Number five is the Tower of Terror of Hollywood Tower Hotel. This is the only elevator drop tower that used to be the only servants to make a scary building even dare. More like a drop tower like the Zimanjaro or the drop tower icon park. This really does turn out to be very scary than ever. I'm going to definitely tell you this one here. The moment I realized that this is the only attraction that I've always been going on the thrill rides, I mean, I was thrilled. Even when coming up to the highest point of a view, you could see anything. You could definitely love this attraction so much. But when it comes to this ride, definitely looking at elevators. I mean, this scene is like, wait a minute, where in the world am I? I mean, I have no other feelings about this one here. Since I just look at the straight right into the window of my eye, looking at it, and then all of a sudden the windows were crashed. I mean, cracked open. Mmm. I don't think this may not happen for me at any point, but uh, don't be uh, don't be uh, jealous if you see anything popping up nearby. I can always know that something scares you the most here, some electricity here, or something pushing you up right down there, and then something pushing you down, you feel like you're going to get scared, you're just going to like throw out of your seat. That almost jumped out of my seat. I mean, wow. <laughs> I'm not really a surprised man who really likes to be on this tower, but uh, I like it. Really the most thing in the whole entire thing. Now that is more smooth than I felt. So if you got a chance to experience one, 
or the Tower of Terror, go ahead and give this one a try. If you think that this one is scary, you might want to avoid this attraction. This one is like a drop tower, but an elevator drop tower for sure. Number four, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Speaking of this one here, there is also another simulator ride here based on with another classic titles of Mickey and Minnie's part of the Disney film set. There is another one I could definitely tell you that one, but this one's a little bit different. You see, there is one thing to this one as they come to the Chinese theater. They definitely got a great screen as you walk in by and definitely greet in the Chinese theater that you're in here. And definitely to tell that one here, this one has a nice color art graphic. And definitely you could tell Mickey and Minnie's here are on the way to the picnic there. There's also Pluto in the car, Goofy on the train, and then all of a sudden when, when Pluto, well, uh, just suddenly got bunched up on the car out of here by the trunk. Then there was Goofy right down there. And then there was a smoke and then something popped out. I mean, what is that? There is an open entryway that is right over there. And it just ripped apart with a screen. I mean, who wants to create this? This is really the weirdest part, but I never seen it before. And I mean, I have no idea what, what we see here, but... Uh, this just looks very weird. I definitely cannot believe that this screen was just already like ripped apart. I mean, who come up with this idea? I mean, this is uh, very weird. How you could enter it? Well, I think there's another way you just only enter in here. And then you pop on board here on the train. Then the next thing you're going to be seeing, you'll be greeted by Goofy here on the train in front and meeting the passengers here in the back. And you can definitely explore from this amazing part uh, in the scene, like they're in a movie so far. And one thing importantly, something goes wrong. There was a train that disconnected the embarchment and most of all, all the trains were collided and derailed. Oh no, I mean, I like that attraction so far, but not really the only thing that something has caught me in attention was the diverter that did hit and then all of a sudden, cars were apart. I could have sworn that this was a little bit different comparing it to the great movie ride I went on back in the decades, and not to tell how this all turned out. This was very different than the great movie ride. Since it was just a bit off the target angle, I mean, very tough ones near go by. I'm not really jealous of this ride, but this was a very great one to make the attraction even more better than I really have done it so far. It was a very good ride. Definitely spit it all over the place. I mean, like, woohoo! That I felt like whippity whoppity doo. I mean, just going all over the places. And then I spotted there was a tornado. That hair just got me blowing out of here. Well, I just don't believe it here. <laughs> this was like a Wow, how sick that was this ride. I mean, this was a very great uh, attraction that I could definitely go on. And if you're thinking that you really like this one, part of a Mickey and Minnie's film, this ride is a must do for all you peoples who really like to be on this ride. And you must tell your grandparents for sure. They might be saying, what is this attraction? Well, it sends you on a journey here like you're in the movies. That's definitely one thing that you can never go wrong with that one here. Go ahead and give this one a whirl. Now entering the top three. Taking the bronze medal is the Rock and Roller Coaster of Aerosmith. <laughs> I was a fan favorite of the Aerosmith by the time I was listening to music on this my device. I was definitely hearing how well he has played. And most of the time, I was convincing that what if I go on a ride and go in my car and started uh, putting a boost here and then taking on the freeway. I mean, this definitely turned out to be me driving over to school or work or other travels in the world. I mean, I'm not really the, the only person who wants to go right from the country of each part of its road trips. The only thing I am definitely here for was the, the best part of this roller coaster ride. This was the best thing that I've always been ever doing it so far. 
That launch was, oh my goodness. The OMG, I just really, really love this fight so much. And talk about how fast it went. It just sent you picking you favorite songs here right on the limo of this station. There are five of them. And I mean, you don't have to worry about your own, but like these of you have a license plate here right on the back that says it on here. But don't be surprised that which uh, car you're going to enter in. So there aren't any colors here. I would have picked which color that you would have to go in there. They're all just the same colors. That's it. Nothing else to compare with. But anyway, about the ride of the attraction, this was definitely a great coaster here. Not the best one with the lights on, but lights off? Yeah, sure, you name it that point. They're definitely a very much better ride to go with a fan favorite attraction. This was definitely the coolest one ever since manufactured by Vekoma. Yes, that's a Dutch manufacturer. And to talk about this one here with this ride, I like it that most. I didn't really hit my head at all, banging on my shoulder restraints. It just gave me a good, comfortable position here. It was a fantastic ride. Great job with that one here. I really just enjoyed it so far. Making the boost, making a great uh, twist. I mean, this was a fantastic coaster. I would highly repay on this bad boy, or you call it, Bay on for me, baby. Limo is mine. Sorry, did I just say something? <laughs> I'll just try to get back over it. Entering in a silver medal goes to... Slinky Dog Dash. Now, I like this attraction more. This was the great family coaster ever that was made here for everybody who loves this ride. I think the manufacturer was, uh, Intamin, I think? Well, I'm not really sure if I said it right. So, I have to look on the media here and try to find out who manufactured this. But, with this coaster of this attraction, since it just went out, I really could tell this one that the Slinky Dog Dash was a great ride. Experience that most families and kids are loving this coaster so much. They don't have to worry about the flip. All they have to do, they have to love the airtime moments, the launch, and the rapidity of the slinky up and down hills. I mean, the best part was the up and down hills, small bunny hops in the air, or I should call it the small air time, and go up and down. That almost ejected by C. I mean, wow. I'm definitely telling you this one. That was insane. Insane ride ever. Since I really wanted to try a slinky dog again for the next future, I would definitely would tell that which one was better. And I'm gonna ask my friends which one do they like. Because they haven't been on here since the last couple of decades, or less than decades, or even just a couple of years. I mean, I'm not really surprised about this one here so far. Turned out great. I really like that coaster so much. Everybody went on it so far. They really liked it a lot. But this is the only thing that is not on the list. So this wasn't here before by the time I was back in 2012. So far how this got me into this one was the attraction was unbelievable. There was definitely a great ride that everybody really loves this one so much. So I would say that give it a recommendation if you'd like to do Slinky Dog Dash. You'll definitely agree with some a lot of Toy Story characters after passing for Jesse and Rex or I'm just uh, can't believe it that a lot of the people are going to really enjoy it. And a double boost of the launch? Wow, that was insane. And Slinky himself like, hold on, and then here we go. And then the launch goes right to the second boost. It just goes up, flies away. That was the best coaster I've ridden. What a great job here for this attraction. And I'm going to say that most of the people are going to definitely love this attraction more than anybody else. Don't get me wrong. I completely understand most of the viewers and the people here at the park are going to love it here too. So I definitely think this one's amazing. And finally, the last one left. And we have a winner from the Gold Place Medal. And this one goes to... 
Why is resistance? Wow. I can't believe that this deco of this theming was just like, I just can't believe it. I mean, let me tell you this one here. Since you walk inside, and this is definitely in the caverns that you might be seeing things in the mountain. And then you board here on a ship. And then it sends you up here into the dark side from this ship. And I mean, once you come out, there are like troopers right over there. I mean, oh my gosh, what is this? Let's talk about that one here. They've done a great job putting in a lot of designing on the deco side. I mean, wow. Sorry, your birthday is canceled. It looks like a dark side is trying to mess everybody up. <laughs> I don't believe it. I, I can't because this is the number one attraction I really loved here at the park. So far, however, the Rise of Resistance was the best attraction ever yet. Going from the ship to the land of the galaxy's edge. I mean, come on, man. This is a definitely a, one of the bestest attraction yet of the simulator ride. I'm definitely understanding that this best theming was just terrific. Better than the Star Tours. Yeah, I think so. Star Tours. So most of the people are considering themselves, this is the best ride that I've ever been on, and it's my favorite. Yes, it is your favorite, but do you really love Star Wars the most? Well, there might be a great reason here, but you can definitely enjoy it too. So far, how this turned out, Rise Resistance was the best part of this attraction so much. Going from top to bottom, and I mean, I really like to see how this all turned out. Great job with the special effects, the sound that they worked on, the animatronics. This was a great uh, looking technique of the ride. I mean, they loved it so far. <laughs> I can't believe it because that was insane going all over the places, and I mean, they are doing the best thing they could ever do once more in a lifetime. So I predict that this Rise of the Resistance was the best ride here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. So if you really want to take a closer look at this ride and say that I'm in it, well, it's yours true. This is the recommendation for you, Star Wars fans who definitely wants to get on this attraction. So what do you guys think about my top five of this rides at Disney's Hollywood Studios? Do you like it so far? Which attraction do you like the best? Let me know in the comment down below, and I would love to hear your answers back. Anyway, that should conclude here for the top five rides here at Disney's Hollywood Studios here. I had a blast here so far. And if you really like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel we're going to have a tons of stuff here of top videos here of the rankings in each Walt Disney World theme parks like Epcot, Animal Kingdom, or Magic Kingdom, and sometimes shows the best land themes of each park and most of the, of course, how well this all turned out. And I must say that this may be the only great things that will ever make a task so far. So, if this ride turns out to be the best, I mean, it's going to be the best. Follow me on my social media here on Instagram and TikTok. Snapchat will be unavailable here, so I'm sorry for everyone, but sorry for discontinuing for this one. So, with that one, we are going to be sticking on two social medias instead of three. Because Snapchat won't be available at this point. So, with that one, only Instagram and TikTok will be available. And make sure you like this video so far. I would love to hear your guys about my video because I worked really hard trying to put it in together and do the best thing I can do. So that's what being said. Thanks for watching and make sure to stick around here for the next top videos of the ranking rides of each park. Peace out everyone for us a while as a top rides of Disney's Hollywood Studios dial. This is Son of Beast from Chris. I had a pleasant day so far and ever. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.